Yo, what's going on, my prophets? Your boy Cali here with another video. Not so much a tutorial, but a little bit of mentoring, I guess. Um, in the group, I've been seeing this a lot, or these are the common mistakes I've seen or have done in uh, my years of trading. So these are the top four mistakes I think that we run across, and a lot has to do with human emotions and stuff, but um, we'll dive into them in a little bit. Just real quick, guys, we have the website up. If you want to just go out and check it out, see where we're at in market cap 237, 237 billion. And another thing I like to look at is see how many cryptocurrencies there is in the market right now. This number just keeps going up, um, you know, so just be careful with the shit coins and scam coins going around, you know, always be aware. And um, one of the things we're going to look at right now. So, um impulsiveness this is i think one of the biggest ones i see is um people just buy in for to buy in right they don't really do any research and i'm talking about technically trading all right i'm not we'll talk about investing but this is trading and you have to have a trading strategy so you know bite down on your impulses and actually uh do some trading not just you know guessing and throwing darts like a monkey at a at a board and hopefully you'll make some money right um, the other thing that we see is people being impatient if you see a coin and it's on the rise up you know it's it's in a nice uptrend and you want to get into the coin either make sure that there's enough um, ratio like enough profit ratio like uh, profit to loss for for the trade to be worth it right so if the trades worth it then by all means jump in the trade if not just wait for a pullback if you're trading you should be watching 10 to 15 coins and get to know the price action on those coins obviously there's going to be little things here and there but for an active trader you should be just trading a couple of coins and learning the price action on those coins greed greed is a big one because a lot of people go into these trades not knowing when to take profit and like I said you know better rocking some profits than not any profits so if you get into a trade what you want to do is set profit targets so if you think it's gonna keep running that's fine but start locking in some of the profits so if, even if it's 25 or 50 percent of your target one and then you know the other 50 percent um, and target two and three that's fine but uh, just make sure you're, you're you're taking these profits because that's the game of trading is uh, you know number one is capital preservation number two is adding to your capital the more capital you have the more positions you can enter or the bigger gains um, it's kind of like compound interesting you know um, the, the, the more you the more money you have the more money you're gonna make it's that simple so just be aware start taking some profits you know 10 bucks here 10 bucks adds up instead of uh, going into the negative why when you were in the profit already you know and the last one guys fear aka FOMO uh, we all have been uh, subjected to this uh, we've all done this fear of missing out because some people don't know what FOMO is it's fear of missing out and this one is son of a bitch because what happens is you start hearing all the hype and you know you see the coin running up and you're like holy shit this this is this is the next Bitcoin right that's what we all say oh man this is the next Bitcoin this this coins gonna be it I promise you there's gonna be another one that's just the simple fact of it there's always gonna be a next 200 300 400 percent coin 500 percent and um, I haven't been in the game that long and I've already accomplished a couple of 500 600 percent coins so just be active in the market like you know keep your ear on, on the pavement and listen to what the streets saying so be on Twitter be on steam guys steam it is a crypto base um, a crypto base social media platform so you have a lot of inform information and insight right there you know um invest feed invest feed is another crypto guys if we're in the crypto space why not be on crypto social media 
Uh, with that being said, I have a steamate down below. Check it out. I'll be I reblog some people's stuff. Uh, I just started a Twitter too, so I'm trying to get more into the Twitter. Obviously, we have an Instagram. So um, I guess we could just look at a quick chart and see um, exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I guess let me load one. We'll load KMD. And this is probably one of the coins. So if we're looking at, like I said, just from a trading point of view, right, and say, you know, you hear about this coin KMD somewhere around here, and you're like, oh, man, this, this is the coin. It's consolidating. There's no problem with getting in right there, you know, but you're, you're watching it and you're waiting for a breakout or you see the you know there the potential of the coin to rise so if this is the last uh, support line you know you gotta try to make double that and it did so just be aware you know when to take those profits okay I'm gonna do a two to one ratio here's my profit taking and I take my profits there that's fine but what happens with a lot of people is you're in the profit and you think it's gonna just keep going up and up and next thing you know, you know, you're either there, like where you were, or, you know, even worse, you got in up here and now you're down here. And now you're just holding on to it, hoping, hoping that you're able to bail out with some profit. And one of the biggest things is that when you're trading is you're looking, you're not looking at the Bitcoin, you're looking at the price. And what happens, you're actually losing value of Bitcoin. Because if Bitcoin rises up, obviously uh, dollar amount fiat currency you are up, but you're not up in the Bitcoin, and that's what we're ultimately trying to trade is cryptocurrency. So just be aware if on your block folio, hit the Bitcoin, you know, hit the fiat and turn it into Bitcoin, and just see where you're actually entering and exiting positions. Are you really in the positive? You know, so just be aware of that, guys. We're trading in cryptocurrency. And we're looking at fiat all the time. Unless you're cashing that out, it's you're actually losing money. Because in the long term, you could have just held it in Bitcoin and had more money ultimately. So, you know, just be aware if you're trying to trade cryptocurrency, you should be trading in Satoshis. So just be aware, like I said, unless we're cashing this stuff out, guys, and you're just trying to double up. That's fine, but obviously we're we're in the crypto game to make money, so that's what we want to do. So um, I think that's it for now, guys. Just want to make a quick tutorial. I didn't check in yesterday. I'm trying to put out a video every day. That's just my personal goal right now. I'll try to educate you guys and give you some of the experience between me and Chaser. And uh, we have a couple other guys. We have a guy Ace in our group, which is uh, phenomenal. I'll be doing a video with him soon, looking at some charts. The guys. Uh, getting damn real good at reading charts man he uses a little bit different uh, technique than I do so it's always uh, two heads are better than one so just be on the lookout for that as for now guys we are the profits check us out on all social media platforms and peace out man